because if you don't see how something is designed to be, you'll often be trying to fix something without the bigger picture. Wow. So it's always better to see the bigger picture right. and you can adjust the internals on the way. Yeah. And so um, uh, one of the things for us to understand is the scripture, we start with just a scripture, uh, lots of scripture we start with there. Numbers 14 verse 21, and uh, these are the people of God and uh, they had uh, just failed their last test on entering the land of promise that God had for them. And uh, God says they're never going to, they're not going to enter the land. And then he says something really unusual. He says, nevertheless, the whole earth shall be filled with the glory of God. Mm -hmm. You look at that statement, you think, one, what does it mean? And two, well, that's weird to say something. You're right in the middle of that telling everyone they're not going to make it into the land. Nevertheless, the whole earth shall be filled with the glory of God. And uh, it, it first uh, look at it, it looks a little bit puzzling. But if you understand God's design, God's design when he created the physical world was to reveal his glory and goodness right. to the whole right. world. Yeah. Now, there's an aspect of his glory uh, that is seen in creation. So you come around the beauty of creation is a reminder of the greatness of God. But God has a much greater demonstration of his glory or nature. So we're, we're talking about the glory, I'm talking about shimmering clouds, we're talking about the nature of God. Moses said, yeah. show me your glory. He said, I will call, I will proclaim my name. This is who I am, the Lord, the Lord God, merciful, wow. gracious, long-suffering. Mm -hmm. So he describes who he is, the revelation <coughs> of his goodness mm -hmm. will be made known in all the earth. And the context of that statement is now, very clearly, God has desired to make his goodness known through people. Mm -hmm. So when God thought, how can I put my goodness on display in the earth? He had many options, but the option he chose is to display his goodness through a father-son relationship. Mm -hmm. He designed man in his image wow. to reflect into the earth his glory wow. and what he has done. Wow. So man was made in the image of God yeah. and for a purpose of revealing what God is like through a relationship, father and son. <laughs> so when we think sonship, we don't, <coughs> when I'm talking sonship here, I'm using a, a model to describe his relationship with people. Yeah. It's, got, it's, not, it's nothing to do with gender. It's to do because men are the bride of Christ, just as women are the bride of Christ, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and uh, women are sons, just as men are sons. It's like it's it's about the way the model works. It's yeah. a way yeah. of presenting something. See? Yeah. So so when you look at it, we find that God's design is to represent Himself in the earth through a son. Mm -hmm. Now, in the Western thinking, a son, we think about sons. You know, a kid grows up, they grow up, they leave home. The biblical concept of son and father is really very different to the way we see things. Mm -hmm. So first of all, a father in the Bible, the word father means source, the author of something. So whenever it's using the term father, it's referring to the source and the author of something. So a father is an author of identity. Mm -hmm. So you can't find identity without finding father. No yeah, father wow. meant no identity. Mm, yeah. So the father is a source of identity. In the Middle East, as in Asians and now, when they ask you your name, you give your family name first. You know your father's name. They want to know where you came from, not what your first name is. Because, you're, because in the honor shame culture of the Middle East, the, the, the family is the first source of your honor. So where you come from is the source of your honor. Mm -hmm. So you come from a bad family, you've got a bad, you're already off to a bad start. You come from a good family, you're off to a head start. Yeah. So your family in the Bible thinking and in the Middle East cultures and many cultures in the world, the family is the source of your honor, specifically your father. So who is your father? So it'll say like Ben Hur, meaning the son of Hur. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so all of these things are there. So the word father then is the source he is the author, the originator of your identity, of your honor. He's the originator of your provision. He's the, he's the source of your provision. He's the source of your protection. Father's expected to protect his home. He is the source of guidance for life. Sons were expected to step up. Now you see, 
we have a very independent Western viewpoint, so for mm. us even sun has a different meaning as well. In the word sun is the word ben, and it means to be a builder of the Father's house. Mm -hmm. Literally, yeah. to build the Father's house. <coughs> so it means to be an extension of the Father in the earth. So if you now look at the concept of Father, Son, as per God's design, the Son is the DNA, the representative of the Father. No one but a Son can represent the Father because they have not the same DNA. Mm. So the Son is the representative of the Father and he extends the Father's business in the earth. Yeah. As his representative. He's not operating alone. He's operating to extend his Father's business. So that's God's design, fatherhood and sonship. So now you yeah. can go back into Genesis and see it makes sense completely. Let yeah. yeah. us yeah. make man in our image and likeness. That's amazing. Let them have dominion in the earth. Mm. The earth was made, wow, Psalm 8, uh, God, man was made, clothed with glory and honor, and made for dominion over all of the earth. So, so God's original design <coughs> is fatherhood, sonship. Now, yeah, if you have yeah. an original design, you never change your design. When Adam failed, God wouldn't plan the same thing. He sent his son. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the life of Jesus, you'll see the same model, Father Sonship, spread right through it. Yeah. Suddenly all the scriptures make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of scriptures suddenly, oh, he's showing us what the original pattern was. Yeah. So notice then at a very young age, at 12, you could say, oh, don't you know I must be about my father's business? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 Dang. He says, uh, oh, he says, the father so, seen me. So the representative. If you've seen me, you've seen the father. Because yeah. yeah. I've come to represent him. I do nothing except what the father shows me. Now, all of those scriptures now will start to make sense through yeah. the yeah. paradigm right. of biblical fatherhood sonship mm. as God intended. Right. So the son then is never independent. The son is the builder of the family business. Mm. He, he represents wow. the father. Okay. He grows up and he speaks on behalf of the father and he's as accurate representative in the earth. So when you start to then look at it, many, many scriptures will start to come. Like, for example, uh, in Hebrews uh, 1 and verse 3, it says, Jesus is the express image of the Father. Okay. That means that he's exactly what the Father's like. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know what the Father's like, have a look at Jesus, because yeah. he perfectly yeah. represents him. Yeah. Wow. In, 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 uh, in John 1 and verse 18, no man has seen the Father at any time, but the only begotten Son of the Father who dwells in the bosom of the Father or is intimately connected to him has made him known or brought him out to reveal him. Yeah. John chapter uh, 14, verse 9, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Yeah. Now, see, there's three scriptures straight away which yeah. reveal a son is to yeah. be the reflection of his Father in the earth. Mm -hmm. And the son is to act as the father's representative, and the son is to operate the family business. Okay. Now, God has never changed the pattern. He never changed the pattern. See, so when you come to Christ, they use a term called born again. Born into what? <coughs> you become a child of God. You're born into the family of God. So your role then is to know your father. Your role is to become a son that wants that actively represents him. And your role is to fulfill the assignment that God gave you. In other words, sonship really is the biblical paradigm. And if you remove sonship out of church, you've changed the whole nature of what we're doing. Wow. wow. You turn it into a business. Wow. 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 That's great. The thing that's missing today is the revelation of fatherhood sonship. Okay, let me just go through a few things on that. It's, it's extremely powerful. So the Father then is the source. He's the source of all of these things. So it tells us clearly Adam uh, was the Son of God. Luke 3, yeah. verse uh, 38. He was the Son of God. He, he, they gave that title again. He was the Son of God. Israel was called the Son of God. And he says, 4, verse 32, let my son go free. So you understand then? God starts off with an individual son, then he has a corporate son. Mm. And his plan is a corporate son of the earth. So therefore, sonship is your prevailing paradigm in the, 
in the Bible of growing into sonship. In Romans 8, what is the, what is the whole word waiting for? <coughs> you see, most people would answer say it's for Jesus to come back. Now the whole earth is groaning, waiting for the manifestation of the <coughs> sons of God when God has completed his plan. Wow. So we must we must understand fatherhood sonship to understand how to live and walk in identity. Wow. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, uh, so, and so uh, what I, you know, as I've seen it, it's just changed my thinking completely. It has radically yeah. changed my right. thinking. Now, I want to show it for you very specifically outlined in Jesus' prayer in John chapter 17. Yeah. And then when, when you see this, you'll start to get perspective for a whole lot of things. So in John chapter 17, like there's so much in it, I'm still finding stuff. Anyway, John chapter 17, here we go. Yeah. Jesus spoke these words, verse 1, <coughs> lift up his eyes to heaven. Said, Fathers, the hours come, glorify your son, that your son may also glorify you. And then, now, I'm going to pick up three verses to open up. There's many others could be opened up, but out of these three, the Lord showed me very clearly a balance of function in sonship. Come on. That when you keep that balance, you actually function properly. Wow. Um, it's, it's quite, ex and you take out one factor and you malfunction. Wow. Wow. Take out, and all factors all work together. Wow. And wow. they're all That's part cool. of the ongoing story. Wow. When I saw this, I was just stunned. Wow. <laughs> I was really wow. So now I see where everything all fits together. Then you'll see why certain things you need to be committed to do. Yes. Okay? And okay, so here it is here. So I'll read the three verses, then I'll open them up one by one with you. And uh, in verse 3, This is eternal life, that they may know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. Verse 4, I finished the work which you have given me to do. Now, Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory I have with you before the world was. Mm -hmm. I have manifested your name to the men you've given me out of this world. Mm -hmm. They were yours, you're not mine. You gave them to me. Mm. So you see how we don't own anyone in the church? Mm -hmm. oh. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah. So good. yeah. yeah. Dad stuff. Right. That's so, so true. So, so you'll find if you start to relook at this again. Right? Yeah. See many things you've never seen. Wow. Yes. And, and verse, we just carried on that theme of the name. Verse 26. I've declared to them your name, and I will declare it for this purpose that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. Now, I want to share with you three distinct uh, aspects of sonship design, three fold aspects of sonship design. So this is, his, uh, this is his prayer. Of course, he's come to redeem us, which is to bring us back to our original purpose. So when Jesus came, it talks about he has redeemed us. Mm. To redeem is to pay the full price that we would restore to the purpose that he had. So God's plan is to get you back online again. And to get back online, there are three major things. Now, if I had a, a, a board, you could you draw the one is draw a top circle, just draw a circle up like that, then draw an interlocking circle here and another interlocking circle. So you've got three interlocking circles because all are connected to one another. So here's number one. Uh, and we start off with first three. First three. Uh, if not, you just put one, two, three, and work it that way. Uh, but verse, but verse three, it says this. He said, uh, this is eternal life, that they know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Okay? So, eternal life. Eternal life is the God life or the supernatural realm of life that's inexhaustible. Yeah. Okay? It's a life beyond our natural life. He says, this is eternal life. This is the life of, of the age to come. This is the supernatural realm of mm. life. It, it is a result of intimacy. Okay. This, this is the okay. eternal life that they know you. The word know is the word that's used for intimacy. It's yeah. used Adam knew is yeah. what? Sexual intimacy. Yeah. So now eternal life is the overflow of an intimacy with Father. We think of eternal life, it's just a gift. Like, I'm afraid to prayer, come to Jesus, got eternal life. Yeah. And now, when you think that way, 
you're thinking of a thing. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I suddenly got a thing. That what you got given was a relationship, a yeah. connection. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And life nice. is the flow of that relationship. Right. Wow. So the relationship is the overflow. The relationship leads to the overflow of life. This is eternal life. This is the God-given life that is above and beyond the natural realm that enables you to overcome. It comes out of intimacy with Father. Wow. Knowing the Father. And then, notice this, and Jesus Christ whom you sent. Why does he say that? Because Jesus Christ is the express image of the Father. Wow. In other words, to know the Father, you've got to get to really know exactly what Jesus Christ is like. Because he actually represents it. Yes. That's why God's plan is to conform us to become exactly like Jesus Christ. Why is that? Because he is the exact image of the Father. Wow. God is wanting sons. He's yeah. the firstborn of many. Wow. Wow. So, so, can I just pick up, first of all, the first aspect, the first and primary <coughs> aspect that God is interested in is intimacy with Him. Wow. Intimacy with Him yeah. is your number one function. Mm -hmm. After all the ministry is done, yeah. after you've left and gone to heaven, intimacy with Him will remain. <coughs> wow. That's so so good. if intimacy with Him remains, mm. it has got to be permanent. It's got to be wow. number one. Right. So that raises there, how do I develop intimacy with my Father? Mm. Jesus was constantly in love with the Father. Yeah. So yeah. I do nothing except what I see the Father doing. That means He's in a, in a flow of connection with yeah. Him yeah. where there is intimacy with Him. Yeah. Now you are going to lead to the next thing because there are blocks we have to intimacy with God as Father. <coughs> One of the best ways that you can begin to come into a deeper intimacy with the Father is to relook at what Jesus is like and reform your thinking about what a father is like. Mm, yeah. You will find the yeah, father at work okay. all the way through Jesus' life. You will find everything he did reflects what the father's like. But look mm. at the way he treated people. Yeah. That's where the greatest revelation comes. Yeah. Mm. And you'll mm. see, <clears throat> oh, well, we'll, we'll, why don't we lead it to the next thing there? So intimacy with the father is a crucial, uh, a crucial foundation for all of our life. And many people will pray to Jesus, but they don't pray to God as Father. Jesus yeah. taught, pray our Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah. The reason we struggle with coming to relate to God as Father is we've got issues around a natural Father. Wow. Yeah. 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 So wow. therefore we'll talk to yeah. Jesus, but the word Father <coughs> inspires the pain in our heart the moment it's mentioned, mm. and therefore we shut down. Yeah. So we'll talk to Jesus and pray to Jesus and dear Jesus and whatever doing that, but we understand that, that there's uh, more to it than that. Yeah. We need to be free to call yeah. God Father yeah. and receive the love as love because He is the source. He is the source. Source of your identity is out of your Father. Mm -hmm. Source of your provision is from your Father. Mm. You see, if you haven't got that revelation, you're going to look for all these things somewhere else, and that's where the issue of identity so becomes good. a problem. Mm. So I've got to find my identity fully in my father. We'll, we'll look at that in a moment. Uh, and we'll get to that. I'll just look at the three functions. Here's the second function. Now, Jesus said, I have manifested your name to those who gave me. What does that mean? The word manifest means to bring out into something visible, something that was not visible before. Yeah. Wow. So what has Jesus made visible? He's made visible the father's name, his nature, his character, what he's like. So a second role of a son, a second function of a son, first is intimacy. Second is to represent your father. Wow. You're out on the earth doing dad's business. Yeah. The earth is for men to represent their father and expand their father's business. I must be about my father's business. Yes. So yes. how can you represent someone you don't know? Yeah. Yeah. You, you just give a bunch of religious yeah. stuff. Wow. Wow. You, you can't, you can, how can you reveal someone you don't know? You can talk about yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't know them, you don't reveal yeah, them. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. It's called manifesting. Manifesting means that it's the revelation of the Father is in your life and flows out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's who you are. You become that now. Mm -hmm. You're like your dad. What are the, so the most common thing is people feel this love. They feel this compassion. They yeah. feel this presence when they're with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
It is yeah, quite practical. It works out quite practically. Mm. Yeah. The, the manifestation of the Father can be felt when you're with people who have a revelation of the Father. Wow. They feel my Father. I feel, they feel a Father's love. Mm. A man and woman can reveal a Father's love. Yeah. It's a spirit thing. Yeah. It yeah. comes out of a life with them. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a huge issue today when you have an orphan culture right through the world, spiritual mm. culture through the world. Yeah, right. The greatest revelation needed is what Father is really like, is people separated from Father and yeah. live like orphans. Yeah. In the Bible, an orphan is someone, not someone who's never a mother, it's someone who's never a father. Yeah. Mm. No father meant you orphaned, meant you were vulnerable, exploited, and you were made prey of. So it had a social shame, no father. So it's a horrendous thing to have no father. And so father was a very, very important figure in the Bible. Uh, he was the, the, the head of the family. Wow. Okay, so uh, to manifest. So, so Jesus manifests what the Father's like. So now when you look at everything Jesus did, he is manifesting what the Father is doing, like. So, so it's important now. So in this area of, uh, of, uh, of representing what the Father's like, for us that means personal transformation. Yeah. So our first role, goal is intimacy, knowing Father. Second is transformation, because Romans 8, God is conforming us to the image of Jesus Christ. That's where inner healing takes place. Mm. That's where deliverance takes place. That's where renewing yeah. your mind takes yeah. place. Yeah. That's where your identity and character are developed. So I need to, one, work on my intimacy with God. So I'm so good. So thank you. So uh, so so we want to manifest the life of God. Yeah. So that means transformation. So that's why God is working to transform us to become like Jesus, because He's wanting us to become sons. Every day is a day of growing more like Jesus. Wow. There's a and there's a way that that transformation takes place, and that this is the whole process of inner healing or inner transformation. If you just take in the healing, you only look at it one little bit. Wow. The goal is transformation to become more like Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. just yeah. fix up your pain. Right. The goal is not That's just to get rid of your demons. Right. The goal is to have your life transformed. Oh. 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 If all you just cast out demons, you haven't really changed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Transformation is the goal. Christ likeness is the goal. Awesome. An ongoing journey all your life. So that's where the issues of character formation are. Mm. That's where the issues of, mm. uh, of uh, healing and deliverance yes. and, yes. Yeah, and, and growth internally. That's where your internal devotional life is important. Yeah. So we have intimacy so, with God yeah. because he becomes our yeah. focus of our life. We become in, involved in the area of transformation. So I found transformation, the, the purpose of transformation is so people see more of God in me. Yes. yes. So, yes. so that the earth can be filled with the yeah, glory right. of God. Yeah. Wow. In other words, that has to do with how you live your life. Yeah. And now here's an interesting thing. A lot of people live their life according to law. Is that right or wrong? But what if you just change your paradigm and said, is this going to represent my father well or not? Right. 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 So good. That would change how you do a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. If who you are is yeah. the son of God, mm -hmm. then are you representing daddy well or misrepresenting him? Yeah. Now you start to put that paradigm over everything you say yeah. and do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how am I doing representing wow. my father? Yeah. That's, a, that's my design, to represent him well. Yeah. Am I doing a good job representing him that's well? So that, that's why you can say, uh, well, why Paul wrote 1 Corinthians 13, he says, oh, well, if I prophesy of all these gifts to all these things, but I have not love, yeah. 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 hello, we don't feel the Father in there. Yeah. Yeah. Something missing. Right. Father's missing in all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's just a performance. So, so that's why love flowing wow. through our life is very important. Yeah. So number one, I've got it, I'm putting, still putting these in general things. So we can break them all down to specifics. Yeah. So, yeah. But number one is intimacy, ongoing, intimate connection and receiving personal revelation from Father. Two, personal transformation as an ongoing life reality. And then three, three is the third one. And the third one is very simple. Jesus said, uh, now Father, I have honored you it's what a son's called to do, honor their father. Mm -hmm. I have completed the assignment you gave me to do. Wow. So here's the third part of your sonship. 
is your assignment. Now, you could put it in different ways. You could put it mission, and if you're a military man, everyone's really clear. Someone said me, get the mission done, then we complete the mission and report back. But for most people, mission has got a vague, churchy kind of, some outs of vague, with a mission to say yeah. word. <laughs> you understand? So I found the word yeah. assignment is yeah. a better word. Yeah. Yeah. Much better word, because yeah. assignment means someone gave me something to do, yes. yeah. and I have to do it and then report back. Right. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. so, so Jesus then, uh, he said, I have finished the assignment you gave me to do. Now notice in the first verse, we're reading in verse 3, he said, now, this is eternal life that you know Jesus <coughs> the Father and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. The word sent is the word apostella. Wow. It's the word apostella. It doesn't translate well into English. So that's why they use the word apostle, apostolic, because the original word doesn't translate well. It doesn't show you what it really is meaning to the people who knew it. So they just anglicize it. Apostello meant this. It meant, uh, it was used by the Romans and the Greeks. It meant to send a general into a hostile territory full of enemy troops, to overpower those troops and subdue them, and then establish the culture and the rule of Rome. Yep. Wow. How about yeah. that? Wow. Apostolic. Wow. Yeah. So we hear apostolic. Oh, apostolic. Oh, <laughs> seems important. Must be more important than pastor. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's actually a functional yeah. thing yeah. Yeah. about strategic invasion yeah. of enemy held territory yeah. to establish the kingdom of heaven. Wow. So now you get it. So, so Jesus, so sons have assignments. Yeah. Sons are sent to mm-hmm. enemy territory to occupy. Mm-hmm. Wow. So now Jesus mm-hmm. said, I have finished the assignment you gave me to do. Mm-hmm. So every one of us has an assignment. Now, assignments change through the course of your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, ministries get a bit blurred. It's kind of like, I'm this, I'm that, I'm or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, and, but, but an assignment is... I've been given this role to fulfill for this period of time yeah. by someone yeah. and I report back to them. It's my assignment for now. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you, everyone will have an assignment. Right. You have a part of the community you're commissioned and sent into, a part of the church you're sent into, a part of something God has assigned to you through mm-hmm. someone. And so you report back to them. That's why in no place for independence. Wow. Yeah. Sons wow. have assignments. Yeah. Yeah. The key question is, who sent you? Yeah. 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 Who sent you? Who authorized you? <laughs> wow. Who authorized you? Because the one who authorized you will then all back you up. Wow. You went on your own, now you've got to promote yourself and yeah. promote yourself. Yeah. 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 Right. It's his job to promote me. See, right. author, yeah. the right. author has got no one to provide. So you've got to fight to provide for yourself yeah. and yeah. compete with everyone else. Wow. Orphans got no one to protect them, so they're always insecure trying to watch wow. someone's out to get them. Wow. An orphan wow. Wow. has to promote themselves because there's no one to promote them. Right. And son, wow. son, oh. yeah. son, <coughs> their father yeah. promotes them. Yeah. See, yeah. If, I'm, if, if I'm my father's son, all I got to do is honor him by fulfilling my assignment, <laughs> worshiping him, yeah. and yes. receiving him well. That's yeah. it. His wow. job is okay, to exactly. protect, provide, guide, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, discipline, yeah. redirect me, and also to promote me. Yeah. So I yes. have to wait for his promotion. Yeah. Yeah. And if it doesn't come, I'm okay. Yeah. 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 If it's delayed, it's okay. Yeah. What does he want me to work on? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. In other come words, on. there's a rest that comes from sonship. Yeah. 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 A complete rest comes from such a. That's that's where your identity issue is a struggle. Oh, the self promotion. See, if you promote yourself, you've got to sustain yourself. Dang. Because you got yourself there. Now you've got to fight to protect that position. Yeah. Wow. But if God puts you there, He's behind you to keep you in. Wow. You never have to worry. Anyone else who tries to take it to usurper. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so you don't have to fight and be, yeah, yeah. So, so once you see these are kingdom dynamics. Yeah. Yeah. So I tried to, what I tried to do is get you get three areas so you catch very clearly. They're all interconnected. Yeah. So you take one out or two out, yeah. the other becomes a disaster. Wow. 
Wow. So yeah. up, if you take out intimacy with God wow. yeah. and, and be shaped to be healed and delivered so you represent his character and nature, you'll end up with a performance-based ministry. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 The focus will be just on the mission. Everything's about the mission. Yeah. You burn everyone wow. up. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. And we're burning yeah. people up. It's about the mission. Yeah. Go save the world. And fathers look and say, you're burning up my kids. I don't like what you're doing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 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 So we can't have a culture where we're discarding people like right. the world does yeah. when you can't get out of them what you want yeah. out of them anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That's not, that's not, would my father do that? Yeah. Wow. He loves them and gathers them up. So that's why you see, so the, the healing building area is really crucial. So I represent my father well. Mm -hmm. so, so, really. so, yeah. so, 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 and, and you see, the key place where all of those circles inter interact is once by all three circles interact. Yeah. Uh, that place is where the Holy Spirit dwells. Yeah. Yeah. Because he leads us to intimacy yeah. by the one spirit we have access to the Father. He empowers us for ministry, yep. and he's the one who helps us with the transformation, yeah. deliverance, healing, and personal growth. Yeah. 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 Right. Yes. He's the central focus of it all, yeah. and we depend on him. Yeah. 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 So how are we getting on there? Yeah. 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 So now you can see where identity starts to fit in all of that. Good. Yeah. Okay, so if I, if I haven't... Um, I haven't got my identity sorted out. I'm going to put it somewhere. This is so incredible. But if you, so, but if you just have the intimacy and you don't have the mission and the mandate of where people respect the Father, you get like those. <laughs> You could describe different sectors of the church by just removing one factor. Wow. Yeah. So, so if you remove, if you just have intimacy, then you have people who are into prophetic encounters and experiences, but the observation you'll make is they don't really show what Christ is like. They're very self-centered and they're not engaged in mission. They're in balance. Yeah. Or if people are focused on character development and then healing and deliverance and they end up just wrapped up in themselves and they've always got a problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They're not into mission. Yeah. They can't get out. But that's an endless pit, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's about when people take out the part where we're there to express the character of the Father mm -hmm. and, and you know be a good, a good ambassador and steward of his character on the earth. If you were to take that one out, what would that if, be? If you take that out, yeah. then you get legalism. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, legalism wow. and performance <laughs> yeah. wow. because there's no compassion there's no heart of God wow. you, take out, you, take out, you take out you take out the second one so if you take out any one of those and you'll have a problem so you, say you just remove the uh, the transformation part lifelong transformation now you've got these people who, who have a great gift and great anointing rise high in ministry and suddenly collapse yes. wow. because there was something sitting in their life that was never healed or delivered. Wow. Oh, wow. That's not healing and deliverance of everything, yeah. but they're a vital part uh -huh. of the life you need to hold up the ministry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so connection great. with Father will empower you through faith to do your ministry and you may build a great ministry but you won't stay there if yeah. your character collapses. Wow. Your gift is always bigger than your character. Yes. And your gift wow. will take you further than your character can hold you. Yeah. So the one thing you've got to really work on is on the transformation process so that you can carry what God has given you. Right. Yeah. And God is so committed to that. He will set Gosh. up difficult circumstances for you wow. to flush up the things. Ministry wow. yeah. oh, flushes yeah. up the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Conflict in ministry yeah. flushes up the stuff. Yeah. Family yeah. flushes up the stuff. Yeah. Marriage <laughs> flushes up the stuff. Man, that stuff's flashing all the time. Again. So don't just put a lid on it. Just ask the question, what's showing out of that circle? What do I need to do? Wow. Yeah. What change so is God well. wanting to bring out yeah. in my yeah. life? Yeah, and really. you find enlargements of ministry often follow shifts in your internal life. Yeah, wow. yeah. They, these things are all interconnected. Yeah. I've come to realize 
they form three major thrusts of then what we could develop people in the church. Wow. We teach them yeah. about how to relate to God as a father. That's about worship. It's about prayer. It's about faith. It's about engaging him. It's about being intimate with him. Rest. There's all those things. Then there's the healing, deliverance, character building, internal transformation. Then there's all the stuff about ministry, serving, all the things that go with mm-hmm. that. Now, the thing is, your identity must be established in your father. Yeah. If it's not established in your father and coming from your father, you will put it somewhere else. Yeah. 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 You put it somewhere else. So for most of us, wow. we have put it somewhere else. Now our journey of transformation is to get it back to where it needs to be. Back yeah. to the Father. <laughs> That's why Jesus said this. <laughs> you see, this is a, when your identity is in the Father, you're free. Beautiful. If it's attached to anything else, you're out of control. Yeah. Someone's got to tweak it, you're going to panic. I'll just talk a bit more about that one. Get the scripture here in John chapter 13, in the first two, the couple of verses. It says, Jesus, knowing where he came from, yeah. his yeah. identity, knowing where he's going, knowing that God has delivered all things into his hands and girded himself into his servant's job. And they all argued with him because of the significance of what he was doing. And he said this. He said, you call me Lord, in other words, and it's true. And he said, but if I, your Lord, have taken the lowest role of serving and washing your feet, then you ought to do the same for one another. Right. Right. In other words, my identity makes me completely secure yeah. to yeah. take on yeah. any role. Wow. Yeah. That's so yeah. 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 I'm not precious. Wow. Oh, come on. I can take yeah. on the least role because my identity is not attached to what I'm doing. That's so good. Wow. Yeah. 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 So, and then, then you'll see now why he's able to say things like in Matthew 20, verse 26, where he said, In the world they lorded over one another, but it shall not be so among you in the kingdom. He said, You want to be great? That's great. Great thing to want to be great. This is how you do it. You learn the servant. Yeah. Yeah. The path of serving. Is the father great? He said, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be a leader. He said, no, 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 leaders serve. Right. Yeah. 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 So this way, yeah. then they get down and they come alongside yeah. and serve. That's great. Yeah. So all of these three have all got huge amounts of them. So this is, I'll, focus, I'll finish around the identity issue. So you understand that um, in Luke chapter 3, verse 22, I, I believe Jesus' identity was already well fixed when he was 12. Yeah. He said, I must be about my father's yeah. So he must have understood then yeah. he was son. Yeah. And then, then you find him at the age of 30. <coughs> I'll just throw it aside just to show you something about it. Jesus lived under authority from when he was young. Mm-hmm. So when his parents said, you must come with us, he's caught between, well, God's told me to be here learning about my apprenticeship. Wow. You don't get me. No, he didn't. He submitted to them. Yeah. Yeah. And they grew in wisdom, stature, and favor with God men. So yeah. in other words, even though his parents didn't get him, he understood the principle of submission to the authority oh, God had wow. placed in his life. Wow. And out of that, he grew wisdom wow. and favor wow. with God and with men. That's now, when it comes to his wow. ministry and the launching of his ministry, now, if we want to launch a ministry, you know what we do. Let's get the flyers. Let's go on social media. So so what does Jesus do? Jesus' first thing was to find the ministry God was operating at that time and was anointed and submitted to be launched from that ministry. So he walked walked 80 miles across uh, across Israel to find (coughs) it. And and John said, wait a minute, you, you should be baptized. And he said, no, 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 no. No, you must, we must fulfill Whoa. what is right. The wow. order that God has oh, ordained wow. for me to emerge into my ministry, I need to be sent. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Oh. Come on, well, there's, there's something wow. off that. Just the things out for you. But, That's you know, amazing. Your minds are buzzing. So, any one of these people that just take up all God told me, yeah. really? Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Good luck with that. Great. Uh, the Jewish thing where even Jesus says, you know, my testimony about myself is invalid. Yes, exactly. Because it's not what I say, it's not what others say. In the mouth of two or three. Exactly. Huh. So, testifying that you've got a ministry and a cause, who sent you? 
Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Right. That's, that's what they wanted to know. Yeah. That's what they wanted to know. Who sent you? Where did yeah. you come from? Who sent you? My yeah. father sent me. My words are not mine, I'm the father's. Right. Get Kim sends not a shred of independence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Great. Wow. Of, so good. I'm the man under authority. So the good. Man under authority is really free. Because it's not a heavy handed authority. Yeah. It's a wow. yeah. 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 It's, wow. it's where I get my identity from. Yeah. So okay, so so in I just if I get this to an end, so I just put a few practical hands on the idea to the mind. Um, <coughs> That Jesus at his uh, baptism is a revelation of the Father to him. And you know what happens? He, he submits the heavens are open. Yeah. He actually gets endorsement by his Father. Right. Because a whole yeah. lot of things happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. First thing, he gets access into the realm of his Father's provision to access permanently to his Father. Secondly, he gets the anointing that comes on him, which is the credit card <coughs> for all ministry. Wow. Access to run the father's business, got him the, the, the resources. Wow. And then he gets his father's blessing. So this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So here's key things in it. And, and I just throw this out just to say <coughs> number one, belonging. Beautiful mind. My son. See, a lot of people, they don't belong anywhere. They don't know where they belong. Their identity is an orphan. They don't know who they belong to. I belong to my father. So verse virtue saying, this is my beloved son. So the first thing is belonging, a deep sense, I belong. So even if you reject me, I still belong. Mm. I belong to my father. Second thing that comes is beloved. You are deeply loved. So so as a son, you are mine. You belong to your father. He paid the price for you. You're his. You're always says, I will never leave you, never forsake yeah. you. Yeah. You're yeah. always yeah. mine. That's what such a means. You always belong to your father. Yeah. Nothing can separate you from your father. Yeah. Yeah. He says, you are beloved. That means you are completely loved by me. Mm-hmm. Jesus prayed the same love that he experienced mm-hmm. will be in you. Mm-hmm. So, so in other words, <coughs> you're loved. You belong to him. And he takes pleasure in you. So mm-hmm. to be a son means <coughs> that I can always come to my father and he always loves me. It's not a conditional thing I've got to earn. I'm always beloved. Yeah. Yeah. Always yeah. beloved. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. now here's the dilemma. Yeah. The devil will attack to try and get you to establish your identity outside yeah. revelation. Right. Yeah. yeah. So the only wow. way you'll be established your identity is through revelation of identity. You need to know God as a father personally. Mm-hmm. We'll get a few practical keys on that in a moment. But but the devil will try to put your identity outside of that. If you're the son of God, if that's an identity question, you need to do something supernatural for yourself. If you're the son of God, you need to impress the people. Now you understand that the pressure of identity is to put it in these places, wow. and here it is. If it's in any one of these places, you're, you're out of control. Just on the moment, if someone touches that, you're going to now get angry because they're attacking you. Right. Wow. You're going to, oh you're going to react and fight because they're attacking you. Wow. And that's why there's so many insecure people in ministry, they're all orphans. Wow. Now their wow. ministry wow. is their identity. Yeah. Their position yeah. is their identity. You understand? If, yeah. if, my, if my role and position is just my assignment, Daddy's assignment's over, just let it go. What's the next one? Yeah, yeah. 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 Rolls over here, fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? But, but if this role is my, my identity, and you touch the role, no, I'm going to start to fight. I'm fighting to save me. Wow. Yeah. And, and if, I'm, if my, wow. so, so people put their identity Jeez. into their family, a woman, yeah. often it's the children. We just learn, you want to, you got a problem with a child at school, bring dad. Was ring mum, her identity so wrapped up in it, she will start to defend the kids. Right. Wow. Ring daddy, say, Yeah, he's like that. Yeah. Does that at home too. <laughs> so this out. So good. That is so good. <laughs> so true. If you take, take the child, you can just do it with the child, and that mother's there like ferocious lion. Oh, no. yeah. 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 But that means she's always going to be vulnerable. Wow. If the identities of the children, wow. and then she'll, she'll rescue wow. rather than develop. Wow. Right, Father? Wow. Wow. Some, their identities are their money. 
So now it's all about the money. How much money, how much they're getting paid, and so they're highly money conscious, and they can't let the money go. They can't be generous. Anything on them against money, is, they live in fear, not enough. Even if they've got heaps, it's still not enough. Wow. I've seen yeah. paper, we, we, we wrote to one guy, had a hundred successful businesses, he said, when's enough? Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. he didn't know. Yeah, wow. he'd driven by fear, which is what happened when he was a child. Wow. Uh, trauma, wow. uh, living out of trauma, wow. and so security wow. meant wow. the money. Mm -hmm. so, uh, for some people, it's the possessions, what they have, the kind of car they have, wow. and where the house they live in. And so then their house becomes precious. Wow. Now we can't have people in your mind, it's that what? It, what? <laughs> yeah, Hello. It shows off, it has all that kind of stuff. And it, gets, it gets fit. Now, I'm not talking about just being responsible, we're talking about being controlled yeah. right. because the identity wow. is in wow. And so now that there's a feeling of fear when you walk in there. You suddenly wow. feel like, oh, I've got to get out of here quickly. I'm going to break something, touch something. <laughs> yeah. and you, you understand it's not the atmosphere of love. It's not fun. I'm not feeling the spark of joy here. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for other people, it's their position. So, so then they're very title. conscious in the church of the title. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. What's your title? Oh, 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 you're this. And you know what? I mean, in some places, when they find who you are, or how big is your church? Right. Oh. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This, that means your whole identity is in how big your church is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, it's a wow. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a horrible thing. Yeah. 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 Whereas what about just loving people? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, pastor's conferences. Oh, no. oh. Yeah. 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 It is, it is. Yeah, it's like, yeah, good. You think, oh, yeah. think, oh God, let me unleash the claw now. They all not need to Yeah, yeah, How are you running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, nice, you run, nice right? you're interested in me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your, your ministry. Yeah, how successful is your wow. wow. How successful your ministry? Wow. How many? How big? Yeah, wow. How much building? Wow. Oh. <coughs> we can see that almost there's a metal wow. comparison. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Well, that'll leave you insecure as can be. When the crowds question. went away, Jesus said to the disciples, are you guys going to go to? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I've only said, Everyone I've got the Father gave me, they're not mine, they belong to him. Oh, wow. Wow. See, he was totally secure. Uh -huh. yes. And when you're secure, you can say stuff. You can say stuff, you want to go, we'll go. Yes. Yes. You were never yes. here. Wow. generation, the pioneers all got this bonding together in a common vision because there's nothing. But the next lot come in, it's a, to their advantage. Yeah. They're coming into something built. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Luke's church. Whoa. Mm -hmm. uh, some young girls there. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> right away. So if you put it in your, your physical appearance, Oh my God, wow. that's, that's impossible to maintain, and that's going to be a bad one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, seriously. But, so, but for many people, how they appear before men is where their identity is. Wow. And what Jesus said, it's how you appear before God, God and so yeah. yes. Now, I believe you should excel before people, yeah. but if that's where your identity right. is, right. you're going to panic when people question it. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's like you cannot attach your identity to anything outside of yourself. It's got to be found on the Lord. Otherwise, you're unstable, and then you're anxious and you're fearful, and, and you never know what person's coming in. Oh, I've got to put them down. They might be in my role. So, so a person who's got their identity and their role, covering for leaders, they've got to hold them all down. They've got to hold them all down because it's my position. Whereas for me, I think, because people say to me, how can you give up that? I've given up leadership or movements. So how could you do that? See when I sign the finish. Wow. It's finished, I'd be crazy to keep it. It's like, it's, when you think assignment, then this is what I've entrusted to for the season. And if the person entrusted said it's finished, that's fine. What's next? I'm just doing this job. Okay. 
Yeah. And you understand, you're not wrapped up in the title. So yeah. 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 You wouldn't be free of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And if you are wrapped up in it, you'll get angry and prone. You get an attack of the evils. Oh my God. <laughs> While smiling on the surface, there's something in the eyes. <laughs> So can you see, yeah, that's exactly. Can you can you see down the challenge of these things? So yeah. I need to establish my identity. It's, it's a journey to establish identity. Yes. Wow. So it, it helps because there's times the insecurity will come again at a different level. Yeah. yeah. So therefore, you've got to just the remedy is intimacy with God as your father. Yeah. So that would mean you need to remove blocks about your natural father. There's a need for wow. healing wow. completely in that area, yeah. or it will always hinder you yeah. embracing and receiving your heavenly Father's love for you, wow. which is where you're at. Right so, wow. so embrace the journey. Mm-hmm. If you pray yeah. for things that you can do, and I just simply I won't dwell on now because we do. Uh, essentially, the core of your identity is in your heart. Yeah. Proverbs 22 says, "Man lives his heart, so he is." Mm-hmm. What you believe in your heart, the way you see yourself, wow. has been shaped over the years. Wow. So you need God to have access to your heart. Yeah. Yes. So, so the key things in it, number one, is to welcome the Holy Spirit to uncover your heart and reveal the yeah. things that need yeah. change. Yeah. In other words, constantly welcome Him to show yeah. you stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And be aware then to the little negative feelings mm-hmm. and insecurities and things that come up. They are signals something's yeah. not right in yeah. the heart yeah. Wow. Yeah. that needs yeah. to be looked yeah. at. Yeah. Wow. So you, you know the things that come up and what caused them to come up. And you know, someone got commented on and approved and you didn't. <coughs> but I did all the little bit of you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what were you looking for? Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> see, you've yeah. got to let be, God will allow you to be overlooked so he can show what's in your heart. Wow. Yeah. 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 Notice me, Master Yoga, notice me. So we need to abandon all sources of identity as we discover them. As you realize your identity is wrapped up, you need to surrender it. Sometimes the Lord may take that away, or sometimes he just rebalances the way you see it. Another thing that helps is meditating in the Father's love. Taking time to meditate. Um, I'll just put it as a thing to do. Just meditating in the Father's love for you until you begin to encounter it. The journaling can help that. And then another key thing to do is to embrace behaving as a son. Mm. Mm-hmm. In Luke 6.35, Luke 6.35 said, if you are kind to those who are kind to you, what level of the race wow. or divine empowerment is in your life? Come on. Okay. If you're kind to the others, like you to those not wanting yeah. to be back, yeah. he said, then you shall be like your father. Wow. So not all of it is a meditation. A wow. lot of it isn't the practice wow. of acting like your father. Yeah. Wow. So so what does father do? My father's forgiving. I'm like my Great. father. I'm forgiving. Great. I forgive yes. you. Great. My father's yeah. kind. I'm kind. Great. My father's generous. I'm generous. Yeah. So as I act out of that, yeah. I begin to reinforce yeah. I'm doing things not because someone's telling me yep. this is who I am. Yep. Yeah. And, and now you, you, so your identity becomes established not just through revelation, but also through living it out, through yes. doing it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So then everywhere you go, you act differently to what other people do. Wow. You're not yeah. doing things for the same reason. Right. I'm always yeah. thinking, I'm, I've got an audience of one. My dad's watching me all the time. No matter whether you see or don't see what I'm doing, yeah. my father's seeing all the time, yeah. and I've been qualified. Yeah. He said, if I will be yeah. kind to the unkind, he said, I'll be like my father, and my reward shall be great in heaven. Yeah. In other words, God is looking to promote me. He's watching every way I treat yeah. people. Wow. And if I treat him like he treats them, he notices, and he's moving me forward. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, promotion is in wow. his hand. Great. So therefore, I just got to learn wow. how to be intimate, how to let him change my heart so I'm more yeah. loving and yeah. more representative of him mm. and then fulfill what he gave me to do. Yeah. Yeah. So that gives you a, a range of stuff. Amazing. Amazing.